Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. Yes, indeed, it is Sunday. How about that? The sun didn't go out, the earth didn't implode, we haven't burned down yet. Uh, so cool, we're all, most of us, the ones that have of us that are still alive are still alive, and the ones that have of us that aren't, well, aren't, but celebrate being alive. It's a good thing. I made myself laugh. I was thinking of something and it was making me, you know, it was like that profound thing, you know, it's like it goes with this journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And my new view on life, it's, well, I mean, is in, I've always sort of thought this, but I've been able to formulate my thoughts over the past couple of years where the journey is the destination. You know, it's like life. We have, we start with our time sense in the beginning. My shirt is not going to hang symmetrically. And we travel forward. The journey is the destination. What's important is not where you're traveling, but that you are traveling because we have no choice. The journey is the destination. And then I made myself laugh after that with, but after all, there is no destination. There is only Zool. So thumbs up for that. Because after all, Ghostbusters. I really want to see the, what was it, 2016 all-female cast Ghostbusters thing? I really want to see that. Uh, so I haven't yet because I rarely get to see movies. So thumbs up for that. Also, there was something else that I'd wanted to say, but damned if I can remember. Still, it's another brand new day. I think it had to do with like the journey being the destination and the thousand miles and all that. I don't know. But still, as stated, all my hamsters are sleeping. I mean, they're not all sleeping. Saber up against the wall over there. She was up and drinking and then dashed back to her nest. So she's awake. Down inside of her mason jar, actually, I can see Gojira grooming herself. So she's not asleep, but she's in her safe space. So she's out of reach. And then Thigmo, <clears throat> I actually surprised him last night. He was running on his wheel and I put my hand down next to him but I came in too quick and it startled him and he was running on his wheel and he went run 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 bite and he bit my finger and then he dashed he didn't break the skin I wasn't mad at him it was my fault I startled him but it was just like oh you little devil you but it was yeah I came in fast and startled him so for safety's sake he bit me and ran you know cause some damage and then while they're going oh what you run so I feel bad that I startled him so much but then immediately afterward you know just leaving him alone because I don't want to terrify him little dr. snurf up here was poking at the side of his cage so I just reached in picked him up and he sat in my lap and went, my lap my hand and was sniffing and snurfing and it was good, so I put him back, and he was really calm and, and stuff. So it was, I scared little Thigmo, and I'm sorry about that. That's not fun. Oh, I halfway remembered. Now I'm trying. Oh, yes. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of proud of my radioactive video from yesterday, where I did the reimagined radioactive by Imagine Dragons. After you run stuff through Google enough times, and then you do the different sounds and stuff, it's not the same song. If, I mean, if that's not transformative, I don't know what transformative is then, which likely I don't. I mean, it's a legal thing and I'm not a lawyer. But, I mean, if changing it so that the words aren't the words and then giving it music that's not the same music and other stuff, if that's not transformative, I mean, you can only copyright the particular expression of an idea you can't copyright the idea. So just changing things like so it was, good stuff. But point being as stated, what I did was, again on the transformative stuff, <clears throat> since it was the song Radioactive by Imagine Dragons, I actually found the instrumental version of the song, reversed it, slowed it down 50%, and then just put the end part of the song as the music for my song and so that's why it sounds so weird for the actual music itself and then for the radioactive portion of it playing through the underneath it I actually went and found 
a Geiger counter re reacting to a beta ray emitter for seven minutes. And so that's actual radiation being detected on a radiation detector played through the entire song Radioactive. <clears throat> and so when I just went, you know, I'm radioactive, radioactive, I doubled the sound of the song. So it played at like this level and then went up and then came back down. There was a lot of stuff. I'm really proud of that one. If you haven't watched it, you should. And if you have, thank you very, very much. Like I said, it's a stupid thing. And one of the things I do for these videos, the way I edit them, I, I mean, they're not... The th things I'm talking about are simple and basic things, and they're not really anything to be proud of, but I'm having to learn all these things on my own and such, and so I'm kind of proud of figuring these things out. Even though there's a billion tutorials on how to do this stuff, I'm not really good at watching tutorials. But one of the reasons that I have all these weird and odd cuts and weird off zoom zoom so they like as I'm talking they'll zoom in over here or when I have a zoom in it'll be focused with my head in the corner instead of in the center. The reason is it's like with the Dutch angle in movies if you have normally norm you know, shots are straight on. And if something is at an angle, a Dutch angle, it's disturbing, it's bothersome. And the directors use that to say subtly, something is wrong with the scene. They don't have to say anything. They just give the Dutch angle, have everyone react in that scene in a particular way and you catch on that stuff. So that's what I was trying to do with all of these videos with my off-center framing and my off-zoom, off-center zooming is they're weird, not right shots. And so they're to give you a sense of this doesn't, this is kind of wrong while you're watching in a sense of I'm not watching something, there's something different, there's something uneasy going on here. So, does it work? Uh, I don't know. I certainly hope so. But I'm learning all sorts of stuff and I'm using these techniques. And what am I ever going to do with all this knowledge? Uh, eventually just die and then, you know, rot. Life is life, isn't it? Though I hope for a shake and bake. Or, <clears throat> since it's been legalized in Washington State, they do human composting now. I don't want to be buried. I don't want to be in a coffin. I don't want one of those vaults in a cemetery. Land should be used for something useful and good, not just blocked off and held away, you know, where you can't do anything with it, but house the dead. I mean, on the one hand, you need to have reverence for the dead, because I think if you have no reverence for the dead, you start to have no reverence for the living. And when that happens, then well, to take a look at the world. We don't have any reverence for the living right now, do we? So, on the one hand, yeah, <clears throat> we need to have reverence for the dead. It's remembering the past, remembering who we are, remembering who we were, remembering. It's important, it's good. But we also need the land for other things, which is why I like the idea of well, all I can remember now is the term shake and bake, and that's not the official term when you get cremated. But when my wife was dying and we were, refer you know, trying to figure out what we're going to do, you know, I referred to it as a shake and bake, and I said, when I die, I want a shake and bake. And the shake and bake is just, that's actual, it used to be, I don't know if it still is, and a funeral home term for the people that buy the cheapest, cheapest box because they're just going for the cheapest cremation. So it's you just buy the cheapest pine box because boosh, it's just going to be ashes anyway. And that's just a shake and bake. And that's either shake and bake for me when I go or human composting to return to the earth. Definitely a good thing. I approve. I also, I don't know if they have them in use 
in the U.S., but they also have a sort of thing where you put your body in after you die in this pod around a root thing for trees. And what it does, it maintains your body as nutrients as the tree grows. And that's a cool thing, too. I mean, I'm definitely for that. I mean, as stated, reverence for the, for the past, which is more than reverence for the dead. It's reverence for the past because, but then, yeah, it's once again, you got to have the reverence for the dead or you lose the reverence for the living. Which, again, we've never had any reverence for the dead in, in our human history. Whenever there is an opportunity to make a buck, well, the dead suffer. Good thing the dead don't suffer, do they? We hope. <clears throat> now I've also become very bothered with myself. Last night, for no good reason at all, I did not go walkies. It wasn't hot. I wasn't hurting. And in fact, later on, uh, my legs probably would have felt better had I gone walkies. But I didn't. And that, I do not want to make a habit. So I gotta fight hard against that. Now, it takes three weeks, 21 days of work to make or break a habit. So it's not set in stone right now. I've still been going walkies at least half the days of the week. So four out of seven right around in that range I'm still doing it's just nights like now now nights like last night for whatever reason I'm not doing it and I gotta knock that off oh boy even if it's just to go around town go around town maintain my habit because I'm one of those people that I can I it doesn't even take me 21 days for some things I can drop some habits in just like a day or two just decide I don't want to do it anymore and it's done. So I, I need to be careful. My subconscious is really good at that. And right now my subconscious is trying to tell me, you don't need to go out walking. You don't need to go out walking. I think, I think part of it has to do with the fact that it is summer. It is hotter. I don't do well in heat. I think part of it is that. <coughs> <coughs> several times in the past before it's because it used to be end of august beginning of september it got cold i mean it was almost like flipping a switch hasn't been that way for the past couple of years now if we're lucky it gets cold sometime after october 31st if we're lucky but it used to be when i got into those times i would become more active so Here's hoping that that's actually what's going to be happening and what my body's doing, just going into slow down mode because it's summer. Hopefully, hopefully. Ah. And it's something that I learned today. Spain, for whatever reason, still has a really, really weird, or at least had, but I was reading about why, you know, in fact, it was a, a really recent thing. It was about siestas. And very, very few people in Spain have siestas, but they work huge long hours. Their days start late. They have the huge siesta time in the middle where most people don't actually take a siesta. But one of the reasons everything is so weird is way back when, World War II, for whatever reason, they matched Spain's time zone with Germany. So they have the same time zones, even though they're so different. So dawn is 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Like five hours after the sun has come up, is considered then the sun comes up. Now, have I actually double checked this using Google to make sure it's true after only reading it in one art article? Well, no, of course not. I'm an American. So yeah now i'm kind of ashamed that i'm passing that on for without having googled it first <laughs> but it was talking about you know you'd be surprised where most people like so only 16 percent of the population actually takes a siesta most people don't it's just the time is still given in a three-hour chunk and then you they end up working late into the night because hey dawn started at 10 a.m and sundown is like five hours after the sun's already gone down thumbs up 
And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments, my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. Son of a gun. Very good. Now, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. Thank everyone for having done so. Well, I'm doing that now. I'm going to thumbs up each one I read, answer as many as I can. But for right now, just thank you for having left me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. The fact is, you left me one. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that sort of thing. And it's a range. <coughs> Excuse me. Because even though I count American Sign Language right in front of my face, I'm still with my fibro and depression and more. <laughs> so, there we are. We have A Lemon Pie, 407 thumbs up, and thank you very, very much. And back in the day, Hippie, that's a good name. I remember the days. Uh, not very well, though. And B, thank you very, very much. And then we have Rydal, greatly appreciated. Dung Dung. Thank you very, very much. Interesting name. Russian timing. I've had a lot of practice of being a straight man. And Mari6661, thumbs up and thank you very, very much. Dragon Spheres, greatly appreciated. Thumbs up and thank you. Blake W, thumbs up and thank you very much. And Silas Van Dusen, greatly appreciated. Confused Owl, zero, two, not zero, 29, thumbs up and thank you. Escavon Malice, greatly appreciated. And WTLX, thumbs up and thank you very much. Fury, with a period at the end, thumbs up and thank you very much. Big Boy Taj, greatly appreciated. And Sebastian Ferris, thumbs up and thank you. Conspo Lopez, always good to see you in the comments. It's been a while. Marilee Cachero, thumbs up and thank you very, very much. And Nolan Nez, thumbs up and thank you very much. Minnesota Metal Man. Thumbs up and thank you very, very much. And then we have Anya K, greatly appreciated. Dutch M, <laughs> Matthew Bulcher, greatly appreciated. Marathathor 2, good to see you in the comments. It's been a while. And then last but not least, Dabbage Cabbage. Son of a gun, thank you all so very much. As stated, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and that is a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. <coughs> I've got to be more careful. I don't want to put any pressure at all on my upper plate anymore. Uh, I can't eat anything even semi-solid for fear I'm going to break these because I haven't been able to afford to get them realigned with... That's $400. I don't have that. But I could get the soft liner if I had $200. I don't have that. I had to get this replaced. I don't even have money for food anymore. Thumbs up! <laughs> Uh, so my point being assist, I'm afraid to put pressure on these. And of course, somebody on Facebook has been in contact with me. I am being sent an $80 Walmart card. I'm going to be making an appointment to go in and get my eyes checked. And then I'm going to use like Zenny Optical and I'm going to get some glasses. And for the first time in like 15 freaking years, I'm going to be able to see for the first time in now, like two years, I'll be able to read with this eye again. This is awesome. Greatly appreciate it. I just wanted to talk about that because it's cool. And if you can check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorCitizen.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you can toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I got for my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, I just greatly appreciate it. I would understand if you do not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now at the literal end of time. And remember, I just talk with my hands, and the reasons I do all this is because with the nerve damage that I've had, especially with this hand when it was paralyzed, just dead for like two years, it's just, thank goodness, nerve cells regenerate. But it's just, it's nice to have movement. And so putting my hands in positions stretches the muscles and it feels, I can feel that. And it's nice. It's just, that's why I do that. Thumbs up for that. Anyway though, what else do I have to say? I cannot remember. 
I got this video that you're watching, got another one that I've got to edit and render, another one to record, edit and render. If you want to see or hear a particular song done odd, let me know in the comments and I'll try to do that. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing.